Picking up where Duty to Protect from Third Person's Part 1, Relationship with Plaintiff, left off, some other special relationships between the defendant and the plaintiff that will give rise to a duty on the part of the defendant to protect the plaintiff from third persons are, you know, for example, employer-employee, where the employer can reasonably foresee the harm and take reasonable precautions to prevent it. Another relationship is common carrier and passenger. For example, when you ride in the subway, the subway operators have an affirmative duty to look out for you to, an, to a certain extent when it comes to harm from third persons. Another such relationship is that between innkeeper and guest, also between possessor slash owner of land and certain occupants, as we discussed above, you know, Costco and Jill, you know, the retail proprietor and his customer is probably the most common scenario in which this arises, but that's a corollary of the general rule that the landowner or the possessor of the land has a certain duty to protect his guests, you know, depending upon the status of the guest, whether it's trespasser, invitee, licensee, that sort of thing. Um, school teacher, student, uh, parent, child, that sort of relationship. And also the relationship between the custodian and the person in custody. 